Preparing a slide. Preparing a microscope slide correctly is important if you are to be successful in your attempts to view cells or other objects not usually visible to the naked eye. To practice making a wet mount slide, you can use a small piece of newspaper. Start by cutting out one letter. We'll use an E. As this is what we want to look at under the microscope, we call this our specimen. Place the specimen on top of the microscope slide using forceps or tweezers. Using the pipette, place one drop of water on top of your specimen. It is important to make sure you only add one drop of water to the specimen, otherwise the cover slip we are about to add will float on top of the specimen. Place one end of the cover slip on the microscope slide and using the mounting needle, hold the cover slip at a 45 degree angle. Gradually lower the cover slip onto the specimen. Quickly dropping the cover slip on results in air bubbles getting stuck under the cover slip. You don't want to see these when you look down the microscope, so remember to lower the cover slip very slowly. Now you have completed your wet mount slide, you are ready to stain it. A common stain is methylene blue. You do need to be careful using this as it is harmful if it is inhaled, if it comes into contact with the skin and if it is swallowed. Place the straight edge of a piece of paper towel or filter paper on the microscope slide against one edge of the cover slip. Squeeze one drop of methylene blue onto the slide at the other edge of the cover slip. The paper towel or filter paper will soak up the water from under your cover slip and as this happens, the methylene blue should follow the path of the water and the stain will be drawn under the cover slip. Wait until the stain completely covers the specimen. Carefully wipe off excess stain with the paper towel, taking care not to dislodge the cover slip. Now your slide is ready to use. After using your specimen slide, remove the cover slip, dispose of your specimen appropriately, rinse the slide and the cover slip, and return equipment. An alternative approach is to directly stain your specimen. This time we will use iodine to stain some onion in order to view onion cells with the microscope. Be careful when using iodine as it is harmful if it is inhaled, if it is swallowed, and if it comes into contact with the skin. Iodine is also toxic to aquatic organisms. Ideally, eye protection should be worn. Your teacher will provide you with a small slice of onion. Using the forceps or tweezers, peel off one layer of membrane from your onion sample. It is important to use very thin layers when making microscope slides, as if the specimen is too thick the cover slip will wobble on top of the specimen. Place the onion membrane on the top of your microscope slide and ensure it is as flat as possible. Add one drop of iodine to the specimen. Remember to ensure it is only one drop as you do not want to flood your slide. Take a cover slip, place one edge on the microscope slide and using the mounting needle, slowly lower the cover slip over the specimen. Your slide is now ready to view with the microscope. After using your specimen slide, remove the cover slip, dispose of your specimen appropriately, rinse the slide and the cover slip and return equipment.